tips on the best way to keep your home as cool as possible. Roger? Well, first off, Emery, if, if the girls will let me in there, I'd do some laps in that little swimming pool right now. But we're going to talk about air conditioning. Here's the main thing you have to remember. Roller coasters go up and down. The stock market goes up and down. But cold air goes in only one direction, down. One of the first things I would think of, Roger, to do when you have air conditioning is keep sleeping room doors closed all day or at least while you're sleeping. Then the cold air from the air conditioning won't fall down the stairs and down into the basement. Now that we're downstairs, another good tip is to perhaps close off the vents in rooms that you're not using so that it'll force the cold air upstairs, let it fall down where we know it's going to fall and cool this area but go via upstairs and then down. These vents come out and you can adjust them. A lot of houses have these dampers right here at the source. This is on the trunk line and it will cut off the air to these unwanted rooms, unwanted areas to force the cold air elsewhere where we do want it. That'll help make your air conditioning run more efficiently. Now, people with air conditioners and they have the condenser outside, you want to keep it clean. And you want to hose off and get off any of this little smut stuff on there. A lot of times there's cottonwoods or different neighborhoods have different kind of trees. Or this was just the grass from the lawnmower guy. And uh, Dale Cranston, the News 4 handyman, also says if you're going to get a room air conditioner, be sure to put it upstairs and let all that cold air just drift down on you. Reporting live in Troy, I'm Roger Weber, News 4. High-tech tools, you're about...